but the 4700 dwarfed everything Massey Ferguson had built before in stature and pulling power. Even their largest models to date, like the 1805, had a 17-inch shorter wheelbase and were around five tonnes lighter than a 4000 series tractor. And the range's arrival signalled MF's intent to compete with other manufacturers' big four-wheel drives. The prototype 4700 was likely to have had a Cummins V8 diesel engine providing its power. The rugged, simple design of the Cummins engine allowed for greater reliability and reduced maintenance, resulting in less downtime and easier servicing, as well as supplying its astonishing pulling power. The Cummins PT fuel system favoured a simpler engine design, with fewer parts, and eliminated complicated timing mechanisms and threaded connections to internal fuel and oil lines, thereby greatly reducing the chance of leaks and damage to parts from general wear and tear on the machine, making the tractors robust and reliable as well as powerful. But it was their combination of strength and manoeuvrability which made them the big tractor of choice for many farmers. The 4700, like most big tractors, was articulated, making it surprisingly agile and able to corner very well for such a large machine. The articulated centre pivot enabled it to achieve a turn of around 42 degrees in either direction. So, despite its huge size, it was capable of a turning radius of just 17 feet. Thanks to its oscillating rear axle, the tractor was able to keep all of its wheels on the ground when driving over uneven land. The rear axle was capable of oscillating to around 30 degrees, and with its considerable power and traction, it would have had little trouble negotiating the roughest terrain. The farmers saw a land that stretched to the horizon, so big and so productive that it dared him to find a way to use more of it. But he knew he could only plant as much as he could harvest. So the process started. New ideas, new tools, new methods, new machines, new power. Until he had a machine that could cover numbers of acres in a single day, cutting, threshing, separating, cleaning, all in one operation. It's the combine. The concept is as old as Caesar and as new as tomorrow. It's a hundred ideas and it's one idea. You see, nobody really invented this machine. It happened by a combination of steps that can be traced back as far as Caesar's time. It took a lot of work by a lot of people to bring harvest technology to this point. Massey Ferguson and Power Farming, a big company setting the pace in the development of more productive farm machinery. Combines, tractors, larger tractors, bigger engines, more horsepower, four-wheel drive, larger implements. But just as important to many farmers is the smaller versatile tractor. Massey Ferguson's latest unveiling, a range of models with just the same technology base as the larger machines. But there's something else too. A 50-year pedigree. Yes, it's half a century since the renowned Ferguson system made such an impact on power farming.